game, speaking of Rockstar games, you ever play that game back in the day, Manhunt? Oh my god, dude, Manhunt was scary to play dude, sometimes. Manhunt was fucking gnarly. That was scary, though. Dude, yeah, that's your fuck fil- kid. Yeah. I'm dude. younger than you, so when that came out, I bought it brand new for the PSP I had it on, Manhunt. Dude, that, that was one of the first games I bought with scary. my own money, because that came out when I was like 14. Yeah, it came out in 2004. So, uh, yeah, so like I was at that time, that was my first job. I was working at a farm filling pots of dirt, <laughs> filling pots of dirt and planting them. But so when that game came out, I bought it. And dude, they would never make a game that violent again. Look at you fucking over there eating cookies. But dude, they they would never make a game that violent because the, the whole concept of the game is that you're making a snuff film and every weapon has a different level of execution and they just get grislier and grislier. So like, onto, so it was super violent, but it was also super fun. You're right; it was a bit scary. It was like, it was hard as fuck, dude. I beat that game like five times through and through. So when I was playing it, I would play it at night on my PSP. So the thing would be like right here, and yeah, you would be. the The more you got into it, the the like scarier it got. So I would just shit my pants after like five minutes and shut yeah. it off. Dude, I used to love. I still I actually. I have that game. I still go back and play it uh, from time to time because it's one of my favorite games ever, actually. I'm pretty sure I only had it because either my cousin told me to get it or it came free with it. I can't remember. I doubt that's the game they're giving away for free. You must have bought it. Because usually you give out, they go, they'll give out like a God of War or something like that. Like, Well, this was in 2004. Yeah, maybe, though. You might be right. Because, man, I'm, I wish I would love it for Rockstar. Dude, Rockstar used to make the best games, too. Because oh. they had, did you ever play the Warriors game they had? It was like that based off I that movie. I had Max movie. Payne on uh, Max Payne, on, another one. On PSP. Max that Payne was, was good. good. Yeah, you were a detective. They had, they had Bully, where you were the it was like Grand Theft Auto, but you were a schoolyard bully. I, Dude, but the Warriors game, that was one of my favorites. That was like a gang. It was like based off the movie. That game, I actually rebought that on PS4 this year. That's so funny. Dude, it's such the a fun Bully game. Bully was a good game. Dude, yeah, Rockstar used to crush it. And I guess like a lot of um, a lot of the original developers for Rockstar aren't working with the company anymore, and a lot of people think. It's the end of Rockstar, the end of that era, because they did those uh, those remasters of the Grand Theft Auto series. One of the founding members, who was the, like vice executive vice president of gaming operations, he quit like six months. Yeah, ago. and a lot of people followed him because mm-hmm. you know how they had those the remasters, the definitive editions of the Grand Theft Auto, like San Andreas and Vice City and shit. Like those games came out so buggy because uh, they just ran it through an artificial AI to fucking to render it or whatever they did, and it ended up just. Fucking! Are you high- kidding me? No, that's why they were so buggy. That like, there's videos online like, there's like a meme where like one of the characters in San Andreas keeps getting hit by a car because it kept happening, and uh, Smokey, I think his name, I forget the character's name. Oh, but, I remember that. Yeah. It, yeah, he kept getting hit. Yeah. So those games were huge. I had the, I had all three of them. I bought them off when they came out. The definitive yeah, editions. Yeah, how buggy were they? They were awful. Yeah. I played the Vice City one. There was this one part where you could just drive through the buildings, and there was another part I kept looping around. It would loop me right back. I couldn't get out of it, so I had to just drive away from that part of the map. There was just so many things wrong with it. I wonder if it's good now. You think it's better now? I don't know. I got I downloaded the Vice City one because it came free 